Brooklyn Society for Special Literary Excellence, and they happen to have chosen to read and discuss my book, Faster Than the Speed of Love. See, I knew it was just a matter of time before somebody would recognize my genius. Well, take it easy. You're getting a bigger head than Chris Matthews. My forehead, my rules. Let's go to Los Angeles. Big actor, played the father in that 70s show, Kurtwood Smith. How's it going, Kurtwood? Good. Thanks for having me. Quagmire, it's so awesome that you could come over. And I said we could make Kool-Aid instead of the other friend. You come out here right now. Bonnie's way cooler than you. Joe has computer games. He's gonna be our new housekeeper. Why is she wearing makeup like she's going out? Is this going out for them? Hey, where are you going all dressed up? Oh, nowhere important. Just this special dinner in my honor. No, is yeah. What channel will the award ceremony be on? Oh, are they having an award ceremony for how well you did the dishes last night? Ha! <laughs> you got nothing going on. Hey, there he is! It's Brian Griffin! Damn it, Randy! You just spilled my juice box! <laughs> Oh. They absolutely love your book. All you do is judge other people. Every day in the funnies, all you do is judge. Why don't you shut your mouth for once and go home and your wife in the face? You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. accident and maybe somebody got hurt what what are you talking about yeah something must have gone down the cops were poking around what do you mean like like joe no stadies man stadies i wouldn't be surprised if there's something in the paper about it talk about how daddy beats me something fierce okay so sounds like no leads then right Oh, no, no. Doggy out. What? Out, afuera. I live here. No, no, afuera. But look, I'm trying... Ah! Hola? Yes. See, because he's in the forest. And this one I call a live dog burying dead dog. This is a photograph. Who oh, is it? Wait a minute. You saw the whole thing? Yes, indeed. Oh, <laughs> boy. Have I been having some fun? What? <laughs> you, you always fall for that. You can't always fall for that. You, you just can't. Go ahead, Brian. Hi, Joe. Thanks for coming. The truth is, I didn't even stop to find out if he had an owner. I just completely... Wait, wait. Owner? What are you talking about? I just told you. I hit and killed a dog with my car. <laughs> <laughs> what? Brian? <gasps> oh, well, then I guess I worried for nothing. Yeah, nobody cares if a dog gets killed. Uh, Consuela, I thought you finished cleaning hours ago. Yeah, what are you still doing here? I wait for rain to stop. It's time for you to go home. It's too much rain. I stay. But it's going to rain all night. Uh, I sleep here. Uh, you know, Brian, I love it here at the ice cream shop. In fact, this is going to be my happy place. If I ever get molested or raped, this is the place I'm going to think of to make everything all right. That's great, Stewie. Hey, what's up your fanny? Nothing. I'm just, I'm a little bummed out from the other day. Free and enjoy life. I'd start locally and then maybe try to merge with one of the larger groups. Oh, that's a great idea, Brian. Maybe you could join PETA. Join me for what? No, PETA, the organization. What organization? PETA. What? PETA is an acronym, PETA. Oh, hi, Consuela. Hello, Mr. Peter. Uh, no school today, so I bring my nephew, Mikey. You want to buy light up yo yo? Big jump off! <laughs> Get mom! 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 <laughs>
Good evening, everyone. I want to thank you all for joining me at this very important event. Ladies and gentlemen, your animal brethren need your help. Everywhere they are crying out in the hopes that someone will hear. In cosmetic research labs. Well, the lipstick is not bulletproof. We know that now. For humans. I'm right in your ear. Buzz, 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 buzz. Won't you please? Glenn, do you... Do you have feelings for her? What? <laughs> no. Didn't know if you wanted one. Hey, how long have we known each other? Long time. And yet we've never discussed mother's maiden names, the names of old pets, high school mascots, favorite teachers. Heck, I don't even know the last four digits of your soul. Hard to tell. I was coughing the whole time. By the way, I couldn't figure out how to use your oven, so I destroyed it in a blind rage. Well, good night. Oh, after that steak, I gotta go lay down on the toilet. Uh, huh, looks like I got a couple of... The ice cream maker. Brian, there's something I gotta talk to you about. Quagmire Pocket dialed me last night. You gotta hear this. I want Lois. She's perfect. I'm gonna try to take Lois away from me. You know what? I'm going over there right now and hit him with a shovel like a white trash YouTube girl. Peter, wait, wait, listen. Delete that message and pretend you never heard it. What? Why? Because you weren't meant to hear it. If you act on this, all you'll do is... Yes, to be without your big and fat in the heart, no doubt. You're a horrible loss if you won't be my wife. You're a raging continuous love in my... How blessed are we to have all them boys to man just floating around in the sky? Glenn, Ida, you made it. Hey, Lois, I brought the hamburger buns like you wanted. I wasn't sure what people like, so I got some with seeds on them and some without. What does he mean by that? She. Is this true? Wait a minute, how the hell did you get that recording, Peter? Your pocket dialed me, you bastard. Peter, that was a private conversation. That doesn't change the fact that you want to steal my wife. Hey, get your hands off me. I've loved her for years. Oh, you're still listening to that thing? It's like I can't even process why he'd feel this way. And maybe, yeah, maybe play it one more time. I can't believe this. I thought Quagmire was my friend. Peter, it's not... Afraid he might take you away from me. Peter, nobody's taking me anywhere. I love you. Mm. I love you too, Lois. Hey, you ever heard any of the other wives saying they're attracted to me? <laughs> no. -uh. Shame on Q. -hoo. This was serious, but it turned into something fun. Glenn, is that you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what I have to do. Goodbye, Lois. Oh, sour cream. You wanted me to remind you. Sour. Peter, Quagmire's serious about this. You gotta do something. You're right. Quagmire, wait! You almost left without this. Maybe ask me for the recipe? You have it? No. So what's going on with you guys? Nothing much. See, this is where Quagmire normally would have told one of his outrageous sex stories. Now, we don't need him. I got a sex story for you. It's funny! <laughs> I've never felt so alive! Oh, if only I had a pair of legs. All right! <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not feeling sorry for yourself. We're fixing this now. Get in the car. What? Why? You'll see. Why should I trust you? You're always tricking me into going places I don't want to. Oh, you said we were going to a place where... Lois? Peter? Zod? Hey, you're parked behind my trapezoid thing. Yeah, yeah, I'll move it in a sec. Glenn, all this nonsense has to stop now. The only reason this became an issue is because Peter heard something. He wasn't... Yes, you're right. I don't totally disagree with what Kim Jong-un's doing, but you don't see me moving there. I take medicine I get from the veterinarian. Is that one? No, no, it's not. But the point is, we all have secret thoughts. But there's no reason they should ruin our fr Do you love Peter enough to repress your love for me? Peter, if you're willing to forget all about this, I'm more than happy to continue hiding my true feelings.
Welcome home, buddy. Man, I missed sitting around just shooting a breeze. Hey, so how'd you get your house back? This ought to be good. I suspended escrow. Oh. Hey, guys, you know that egg dish I was talking about? Turns out... Goodbye, James. I couldn't have done it without you. Gotham, an all-new episode tomorrow on Fox.